Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Fedora 39 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So for this you need to download the Fedora ISO file from the official Fedora website and you also need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Fedora and a pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive first. Now insert your pen drive and open Rufus. Now select the Fedora ISO file which we downloaded and for the partition scheme choose GPT and then click on start. This process is going to take a while so I am going to fast forward this part. So once the bootable USB of Fedora is ready close Rufus and everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now go to any of your local disk. On your correct drive and select shrink volume now shrink about at least a 40 gb of space for fedora and then close disk management and restart your pc Now while your PC is starting, press the special boot menu key which is usually F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu and we need to choose the option which says USB to boot into the Fedora Live ISO. So we have finally booted into Fedora USB and it will automatically launch the installer for Fedora. Here we need to choose the installation language and the correct keyboard layout. Here choose your installation destination by clicking on this icon. Now you will see a list of hard drives or SSDs installed in your system. Choose the correct drive and then select the custom option and click on the done button at the top left corner. Now it will open up a partition manager and you will see the free space which we created on windows at the bottom left. Now if you click this button the installer will create partitions automatically from the free space for Fedora and once you have done that click on the done button at the top left corner to make the changes now click on begin installation and the installation process will start this process is going to take some time depending on your hardware so I'm going to fast forward this part so once the installation is completed Click on finish installation and restart your PC. Now every time you reboot your computer you will see a grab menu to choose between the operating system. So for now I am going to boot into Fedora to check if the Fedora is installed correctly or not. So as you can see we have installed Fedora successfully. Now I'm going to complete this quick setup. Now let's reboot the PC and 
boot into windows to check if the windows is working or not So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you